What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And I got some news I want to share with you about King Von, Lil' Tim, case that's going to be coming up real, real soon. It's going to be a murder case coming up real soon. A lot of people might have forgot because of all the beefs that's going on with, like, Lil' Dirk, NBA, FBG, you know, the whole issue that's going on around the Internet right now. A lot of people didn't forget. They didn't kind of push Tim in the background. But I spoke with somebody very, very close to the situation as far as from Savannah. I spoke with somebody very close to like Lil Tim situation. And they told me something I want to share with you guys uh, as far as this trial. Remember, it's a lot of interviews coming out about King Von. A lot of his homeboys speaking on him. You didn't see his family member actually go to the blogs and speak on King Von in a different way to kind of clean up his image. I think they realize this trial is going to come. King Von and Lil Tim never met each other. So they like this. They background going to play a part in this. I spoke with people close to Lil' Tim that kind of threw me off and told me something that kind of had me shocked. But then again, I wasn't really that shocked because Track actually said this in an interview with academics. I didn't quite understand it, but now that I heard somebody close to the situation tell me, I kind of believe it. I can't 150 cent verify because remember, I wasn't there, but I'm a street reporter. And I have people that like my YouTube channel. They send me information to kind of keep me updated. I was told that Lil' Tim is actually claiming that he didn't even know that was King Von right there. He didn't know anything like that. He claimed that Quando Rondo didn't even know that was King Von. He was just basically walking out around the area. You know, he got out of a car. He was walking around the area, and they just bumped into King Von. Lil' Tim is claiming that Quando Rondo didn't even know that was King Von. And they're also claiming that King Von might have not even knew that was Quando Rondo. You know, they're claiming that they walked past each other and King Von was shook like, oh, they go right there and just stole him, you know. I was told that somebody told King Von that that nigga here, he in the club and King Von just jumped out the car wild as hell. He didn't even know he was walking right past Quando until, you know, he caught the understanding right there and just stole him. Lil' Tim built out the car, according to the person who told me. Tim built out and got the firing because he seen niggas jumping Quando, approaching Quando on that bullshit. He didn't know that was King Von. He didn't know that was 100 track. He didn't know that was, you know, get back game is what he claimed. He just claiming it was an altercation. They jumped out. They handled the situation. Then they found out who it was, like, in the midst of the situation after it happened and shit like that. Um, I'm not sure about that, though, you know. Uh, but I can't say I don't know for 100%. Remember, the reason why I can say I'm not sure is because even though Tim them is claiming this, Track also claimed this in an interview with academics that, you know, King Von might have been told some, put him on go. He jumped out and just went on go, you know. So it kind of like almost clarifies what Track said now, you know. I can't guarantee that, though, because remember, this is the Internet and, you know, perception is real. So the Internet, it makes some fake look like it's real. But I was told from close sources that Lil' Tim and Quando Rondo is finna pull the who done it. You know, they don't know what the fuck happened. They just know that they homie was attacked and, you know, his homie did what he had to do to make sure they get back to their family and their kids. That's what they claim. Now, don't get mad at me because I'm not saying that's the truth. Because I do think they're going to be interrogated and it's going to get to the point where they're going to ask them. Especially Tim. You're not a security guy. You don't got a perk car. You don't got a tandem car. You ain't did 30 hours of training. You know, you're not a security. You're just a game member who had a gun. And when game members have a gun, bad things can happen when you're looking for trouble. So, I'm not sure this going to go, but I wanted to share that news with you. That little Tim them is claiming... They didn't even know what was going on at the moment. Just Tim protected his homeboy. That's why I want to ask y'all a question. Um, if you go back to the academics interview, go back to the video where it happened to King Von. I know you don't want to kind of remember that because that video kind of damaged me. You know, I had a lot of love for King Von. Never met him, but I had a lot of love for him. But I, that's why I want to ask y'all. Do you think Quando Rondo and Lil Tim didn't know what was going on at that moment? He just shot because he had to protect his homeboy. Or do you think they knew exactly what was going on and it's just a side of the story? I'd love to know what you think. It's the homie truth on the street report. Bleh, bleh.